Boosh! What's up guys, it's Ben back again with another video. Now I'm gonna start this video off by saying I did not purchase the iPhone 16 Plus, my girlfriend did. But I did run some of the tests I wanted to run on the phone while she's been using it, like battery life, speed, handling, and of course, the camera control button that's not a button that is most definitely a button. If you haven't watched my review of the September Apple event announcements, that link will be in the description down below as well as at the end of this video. If you're new to the channel, hi, my name is Ben. I make videos and vlogs about photography and tech. If that's something that you're into, consider hitting that subscribe button and joining the family. We are on our way to 2K. All right. Let's get into it. If you watched my review of the Apple event that came out in September, you guys would already know that I did not decide to upgrade to the newest iPhone 16 Pro Max, mostly because of the issues I've been having with my cell phone provider. But after playing around with the iPhone 16 Plus, I'm gonna be honest, I don't really think that I need to upgrade, but we'll get into that right now. So the comparison that I'm gonna be doing from the iPhone 16 Plus is going to be comparing it to the iPhone 13 that my girlfriend had previously before upgrading. I'm gonna start off by saying that if you currently have the iPhone 13 right now, I think upgrading to the iPhone 16 is a really good idea. Not only for battery life sake, but also to have the ability to use the long awaited Apple intelligence that is still yet to come out. Side note, I'm filming this just after iOS 18.1 has come out and a little bit of the Apple intelligence stuff has come out. I have yet to test it, but I will. Really quick, let's go over a basic spec bump that the iPhone 16 came out with. The iPhone 16 and 16 Plus come with the A18 chip, which is a spec bump from the A16 chip. Apple says that it's so it can handle the software requirements to handle Apple intelligence. The iPhone 16 Plus also comes in three different storage configurations, 128, 256, and 512 gigabytes, with five different color options to choose from, black, white, pink, teal, and ultramarine. As you can tell, my girlfriend ended up getting the teal color, and the glass is almost like a matte texture on the back, which is really nice because no one really likes to get their fingerprints on the back of their phone if you're rocking it without a case. All the other specs for this phone and all the other iPhones will be in the description down below. Let's get into some of the nitty gritty. Now, obviously, I'm not the one who uses this phone daily. That would be my girlfriend. But I can tell you that I've handled it and seen the battery life, and I will tell you right now, the battery life is so much better than the 13 that she had before. Day one of her having the new phone, when she went to bed, she didn't think that she needed to put it on the charger because she still had 75% battery life left. And I think she finally knows why I forget to plug my phone in at night. Now she ended up upgrading from the 13 to the 16 plus because she wanted a bigger screen. And I think it works really well when she wants to watch her murder mystery shows that she can fall asleep to, seriously. I'm not joking. She loves the color and I have to think that Apple really hit the nail on the head with the colors this cycle for the regular lineup, but not the pro models. I kind of wish the pro models had brighter colors sometimes, but we'll see what happens when the next cycle comes out. As for some of the glitches that have been happening with the new phones, I haven't heard her complain about any issues, but from what I've heard, most of the issues will be fixed with the upcoming update, which has already come out because I'm filming it on that day. As for the camera capture button, she doesn't really ever use it. What she told me is it just doesn't cross her brain because there's a button on the screen that she can press. When we went to the pumpkin patch last week, I took that as an opportunity to test the camera and the capture button to see if it was something that I would be missing out on since I decided not to upgrade this year. To be completely honest with you, the camera is definitely good. You can definitely see the improvements, but that camera capture button is not what I think it is meant to be. To me, it's more gimmicky than anything. I'm not sure if it's something that's gonna stay with the iPhones come next year or the year after. Rumor has it they're not gonna be coming out with a new iPhone next year. They're gonna be moving to an every other year schedule. So we'll definitely see if that's true or not. I personally think that it's probably a good move for Apple to wait an extra year to start releasing new iPhones because people are keeping their phones a lot longer and waiting until the right moment to upgrade when they think the next iPhone is good enough. Anyways, guys, that's where I'm going to throw it back to you. What do you guys think of the new iPhone lineup? Did you guys purchase any of the iPhone 16 models? Let me know in the comments section down below. If you guys like this video, give it a like. If you really like this video, hit that subscribe button. Consider joining the family. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay classy. Bye. <clears throat> Time to give her her phone back.
she uh, she uses a case, ESR. It's a good case brand. I have it on my phone too. iPhone 15 Pro Max, iPhone 16 Plus. Same size, almost. I think it's good. 